Howdy folks, this is going to be Eggnog's Alpha Management GIMP tutorial. So you're a would-be IL-2 airplane skinner, but you're living on the cheap like me, so all you have is GIMP. The hardest piece of that is managing the alpha layer for reflectivity. Uh, for the sake of brevity, this tutorial is going to make a few assumptions. One, you know basically how to use GIMP. Two, you have the DDS export extension. Three, you already have two skin files, one for the color and one for the alpha. Four, uh, you've kept up with uh, the dishes and you've been nice to your neighbors. First, open the color file and alpha file in GIMP. Let's look at the alpha file first. Um, remember with IL-2, alpha files, darker colors represent uh, duller areas and lighter colors represent shinier areas. Once the alpha layer is set up just how you like it, uh, smash the whole thing together uh, like so. Then copy that layer and head over to uh, your colored file. Paste it somewhere in your uh, layer tree. I like putting it at the top and giving it a, a nice creative name. Once that's done, copy it again. Then go to the channels tab, turn off red, green, blue, alpha, You'll know uh, they're off when they turn a, a lighter shade of gray. Notice the difference. Then create a new channel and give it another creative name. Then paste with control V. Go back to the layers tab. You'll notice that it's trying to paste it here. Well, that will never do. So we'll click on the anchor button uh, to ensure that it pastes over where we last selected. It disappears from the layer tree. Head back to the channels tab. You can see it showed up uh, on the alpha channel that we just created. Whammo, you've got your alpha layer. Now go back to the layer tab again. Um, turn off the alpha layer. If everything looks uh, just like it should, go ahead and flatten that bad boy. Then add a layer mask. Select the channel. Click add. And boom, you're done. Go ahead and export that as a DDS. Thanks, bye.